northwest. Look at tomorrow. Almost the same. It warms up Thursday. South southwest. Oh, that's northeast. Hmm, I didn't see that. Friday southwest but warmer in the eighties. Saturday, same thing, 83, southwest. We got some good weather coming. We still got that wind that they predicted. Look at that big old tree over there. I think it's cooking. It's in the low, it's in the high 50s right now. I'm going to drop some knives off at the butcher shop, go by see my buddy from Charlotte, Mr. Boyd, and see what our schedule looks like for the spinning this afternoon. Well, I'm about to land another. I just stopped by Boyd's, talked to him for a few minutes, picked up that fantastic gift I was telling you about. Now I'm headed to Norfolk to pick up some more knives. I'm going to meet Boyd back down here today about 3.30 or 4 o'clock. So we can hunt the land of Nada. I must be crazy going to the land of Nada, but I haven't been here a long time. I told him since he's here at 23rd Street, we hunt land of Nada today. And, I, well, you know, I don't know how long he's going to be here, but... Then we'll go to uh, the bay tomorrow with the weather's really fantastic weather. Boy's got him a brand spanking new titanium extreme. It's like the one we were testing. I mean, that thing is super light. God, I can't believe how light it is. Got him an Equinox 800. I got talking to him. Like, I've never met him. I've talked to him for years. We we started sharpening. I shouldn't say we. He he wanted to know about sharpening, so I set him up, told him everything he needed to know. So he works the farmers markets in Charlotte. And then he got into uh, scissors, high class salon scissors. The machine costs like three thousand dollars. You got to have sharpen these scissors on. That's the reason I never got into the salon business. Tracy does them, but that was never in my budget. Anyway, he does really well now with salon scissors. But he's, uh, like I said, I never met him. I talked to him for years and years and years. And he's uh, he's 80. You wouldn't think he's 65. I hope I'm in good shape when I'm 80 like he is. Unbelievable. You get to meet him today. Yeah, I asked him, I said, you know, I think I'm probably a little older than you, but Eddie's older than both of us. He said, well, how do you think I am? I said, I don't know. He told me he's 80. Good gracious. I'll get back to you. Well, the Norfolk nice lady lives in this gated community right here. Pier Point is called, which is right across the street from the battleship Wisconsin. <laughs> so you get a little tour of the battleship. Parked outside on the stern right there, you see a sailing vessel. That's the old Virginia. That was a, a replica of the uh, Virginia first pilot boat. They kept that off Cape Henry. And all the pilots would meet the ships that come in to the harbor and leave the harbor. They have Maryland pilots and Virginia pilots. That was the original boat that anchored off Cape Henry for years and years and years until they finally land-based their operation. That's a big sucker, ain't it? Wisconsin. <laughs> Downtown Norfolk. I don't know how long it is, but that's a, a vessel, a war vessel, a warship. Well, here are the four knives I picked up over by the Wisconsin. Wistos. Two little pairs, 
like a utility knife and a small chef's knife. Now, for the best of it, the gift. Take a look at that ticket. Almost like new hooker rig. It's an old, he's had it a long time, he said. But he's very seldom ever used it. There's a there's the hoses that go with it, the regulators. And underneath that, you probably can't see it because it's dark, is a inner tube that it sets in. He said that's probably not any good. I don't know what kind it is, but he said it's never hardly ever been used. I'll get a name on it in a few minutes. It says it's innovative design, Oak Creek Drive, Dundee, Florida. Have a little belt right there that runs the compressor. Pretty cool, ain't it? I gotta check it out. Got some gadgets I don't know about. But my buddy Eddie, when he was young, he had a lawnmower shop before he became a fireman. So if we have any issues with the engine, you can see it looks like it's never hardly been used. I, mean, I, I don't know how old it is, but I know it's kind of old, but just never used much. Okay. He said the hoses are, he didn't know if they should be replaced or not. He's got two, uh, two uh, regulators on there, Malvern 450. And I presume the other one's the same thing. Yep. They're all swivel. Pretty nice. And there's the inner tube, which is no good at all. I just got that for size. Okay, we're in business, so to speak. Well, there's the inner tube. It says it's a farm tube. Whatever that is. Well, I'm headed to the land of Nana to meet my buddy Boyd once more today. wind has dropped out considerably from what it was this morning. It's uh, still in the mid 50s. And low tide is about two hours and a half at the land of Nala. Take me, it'll take me uh, 15, take me 20 minutes to get there maybe. He's on 23rd Street. We'll park right there and head right out. Two Noxes. And a titanium extreme that he's got. And a Stava. I ain't expecting much from the land of Nada, but I ain't been in a long time. But all the reports have been so bleak, nobody in this reason I haven't been going. I said I was never gonna go until the summer, but sometimes things change, you know. Maybe they'll change for the better. Beats uh, some of the places we've been this past week. I, I hope it does anyway. Stand by for more. Coast Guard Museum, 24th Street, Land of Nada.
been a while since we've been to the land of Nada. Just uh, bothers me. Now, if you see me stop, I ain't tired. I'm just taking a break. Blood. Well, we got a right good little drop off here. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been in a month and a half, two months, I guess. Maybe three months. I don't know how long it's been since I've been here. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to come till July. That's a nice black sand right here. Looks okay. Yeah. Let's give it a try. See how it works out. I don't know what that red boat is then. It must be some kind of, like a fishing boat or something stuck. It might be one of them, uh, they're building some wind, uh, what do you call it, solar windmills off here. Might be connected to that. Got boys getting her set up. Bowser. Yeah, you see that big red boat down there? I don't know what that is. I'll have to ask around, see what that is. Right Looks like an A-frame on the back like a fishing trawler would have. It's jumpy, 21 to 28. First target. Let's see what this is going to be. I don't like the way it sounds, I can tell you that. You know it's got to be in China to start with. 21, out of the ground. A penny! Just what we thought it was, a penny. How do you pair how you these things up, Mac? I, I don't know. Can I put them off down there? Two scoops deep. We got a 17. I see something shiny. Looks like bling to me. Belly button ring. <laughs> well, hello, belly button ring. Put a big iceberg in it. Look at that iceberg. Ah, uh, bling, the first bling. Well, we've been hunting in and out. You can see from the drag marks. You can see the penny is right here in this line right there, about uh, 30, 40 feet that way. And the bling was right here. So I'm going to say everything's going to be in this little zone right through here. Hello. Hello. Ah, that's close. Now that I think that's where it's going to be, we'll have to hunt for a little while in this area right through here. What we'll do now, we'll take this old Equinox. And we'll open her all the way up to maximum length. Grab her right along here at the bottom and we'll make a big long sweep like that. Stand by.
That's a wide sweep right there. That covered that whole area. How you making it out? Huh? These people are either poor as hell or they're swimming naked. <laughs> Well, I found that penny, then I found a belly button ring just a minute ago. Do what? Belly button ring. Goes in your belly button? Yeah. Bling, you know. No, no good. I ain't, I ain't got a hit. I, I like to hit. I'm freezing to death. I got on a sweatshirt, hooded sweatshirt. Unbelievable. Well, let's jump from 4 to 12. Sounds okay. Just jump a number. That reached three to five out of the ground. Look like crap to me. Looks like a flat note bottle cap, but I ain't sure of that. It's just what it looks like. That's what it is, though, I guarantee it. But it's in the same. It's just just outside that zone a little teeny bit. Maybe four feet to the ocean front. Got any improvement? I got a penny. <laughs> well, you and I tied. I got a no I got a bottle cap now. I got an uh, old rusty bottle cap. Yeah, that's the first time I've hunted with this thing on the beach. I have to go to the it. I mean, it, 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 it makes it the $600 a little easier. <laughs> Extreme titanium. Titanium, I say. With the travel, with the travel scoop. With the travel shaft, I mean. This thing's got my fancy threads that go all the way down inside of it. And what? I'm talking to the video. I didn't have it tightened down. No, no, I was just checking it out. Oh, okay. I got a, I got a handle in here, something like this, yeah. to, to put on it. Uh -huh. it's, it's got good grip, though. Yeah, it does. I, I like that, that uh, rough, kind of rough. Yeah, it's slick. All right. Let's try it Boyd and Eddie are two lucky guys. They both got nice titanium scoops. God, that thing is light. I can't believe it how light it is. Good gracious me. I don't I wish Eddie had never wanted to buy the one I had. Man, that was a hell of a scoop. Oh, it is a scoop, just like this one. Look at that handle. That's a fancy handle, ain't it? Mm. Makes me want to buy one. We just got to put some gold in one of them. I didn't realize boys got one of them nice fiberglass. I mean, uh, is it fiberglass? Uh -huh. Fiberglass? Yeah, that's that uh, detector. ED? Yeah. From Australia. Australia. The gadget man, he had them on there. And see, I, I bought a carbon shaft for this yeah. here. 
That's pretty nice. And then uh be the best of it today right here. Yep, that's the best of it all day. A going and a coming. Southbound, northbound. <laughs> Allowed 21. I guess it's a penny. Getting ready to find out. Yep, penny. We got two pennies now. Ah, uh, the land of nada. The land of nada. What a place it is. I see Mr. Boyd's over here digging something. Looks like it's in China too, whatever it is. Boy's got some nice toys. I like them. I like his toys. I got one. Yeah, I get it. You got one. You got two, and I got two. Hmm? I got another one too. We got two now. <laughs> yeah. Boys on another ticket. This is a high number. Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-five. I think it's still in there. See if that is. You get it? I don't know, see. Yeah, you got it. Right there. Okay. Right in there somewhere. In that little pile right there. Right here? Yeah. No. 
Another penny. Another penny. I got you. I thought I thought it was. That's what it sounded like. That's two nice dogs right there. Yes, sir. Looks like greyhounds. Two of them. Well, I've been in and out, out and in, back and forth. As soon as I get up with Boyd, I'm going the hell out of this place. I knew I should have never come to begin with. A land or not, a, that's a nice place. Okay. How you like that for 90 minutes? Well, that's more than I expected. The land of Nala. The board had four pennies and a piece of brass. But I got iceberg. The leader picked up Mexican food while while I was gone. She just walked in the door. Same thing we got last week, but I can't remember what it's called. Fajita. Steak and chicken fajita. That's what it is. And a, and a mid-chef margarita for her. Steak and chicken fajita for two. Salads, rice, and beans. Ah.